Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Look at all these fans. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. guys. You guys. Guys, this is a really big deal. I mean, you're bringing back Greece uh, yeah. to life, to live. <laughs> uh, tell me how exciting this is. Let's start with you, Aaron. I think this is really exciting. I mean, uh, I've been a fan of the live musicals that they've done the last couple of years on television, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. And I think ours is a musical comedy, which is a little different than the other ones, and they're kind of telling it and shooting it in a very different way, and we're going to have some fun on the 31st, and hopefully you do too. So what's it like taking on an iconic role like Sandy and Danny? We have Rizzo, we have Kanicki here. We have the best of the best. <laughs> I mean, it's a little daunting. I mean, those are some big shoes to fill. But, um, I mean, Olivia has been amazing. I got to meet her a couple months ago, and she kind of gave me her blessing, which was like a huge weight off of my shoulders <laughs> because all I want to do is make her proud, you know. But, um, but I don't know. I mean, they're such beloved characters that I feel like it's an honor, and I mean, my five-year-old self is like, this is a dream come true, and it's amazing. So, I, I mean, it's, it's a little daunting, but at the same time, we're making it our own and, and still respecting and honoring what they did at the beginning, so, yeah. What about you guys? Did you uh, freak out when you found out you got the roles, and were you so, so excited to take on these characters? Yeah, Grease is just the best. Like, it's just the best. It's so funny, though, because when I heard that they were doing this, um, my manager called me and was like, yeah, they're doing Grease. They're interested in you for Rizzo. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, n not Sandy? Because I always saw myself as Sandy. Like, I was always the good girl in my mind. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, Rizzo is so amazing. This is going to be so much fun. And the more that we've been doing it, the more that I'm like, this was the character I was born to play. I agree. <laughs> She's so good as Rizzo. It's just fun. It's fun to be the bad girl. <laughs> it must be different going from like a high school musical where you were the good girl. It's, it's so a... funny. Ten years later, I'm now doing know, exactly. the exact opposite character. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, so it must be a, sort of a familiar territory, though, doing, I mean, high school musical wasn't live, yeah. but Grease is. But you, have, you guys all kind of have a background in singing and acting, theater, dancing. Um, so tell me what it was like to come back 10 years after High School Musical and, and get on with Grease Live. I feel like I was very luckily prepped to do this because last year I did my first Broadway production, which was so much fun. Um, but like, you learn what hard work is by doing Broadway. I think it's the toughest thing an actor can do. Um, so by doing that, I felt like I had what it took to be able to conquer this rehearsal process and be able to hit all the right things that we have to do while trying to develop these characters and just really doing something innovative with the camera work. And I mean, it's still all a work in progress and I'm excited to see what happens on January 31st, but we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. And how about you, Carlos? I mean, big time rush over here. You're used to live performances. You were just on Dancing with the Stars as well, so yeah, it's you've been, been a, having a great year. It's been yeah. a great a great year. No, this has been such a cool process, and working with these guys and the whole cast, like, everybody is so amazing, and what's cool is that no one's ever done what we're trying to do. Like, sure, there were two others, and they were great, but Fox was like, let's push it even further, you know, let's let's... Let's go above and beyond, and, and I think we're doing that. I mean, we're literally on the Warner Brothers lot, which is so epic to work on, and we have two sound stages. We have a back lot. We're shooting outdoors. We're shooting indoors. Our sets are four-walled. We have uh, audience members inside the sets with us. Like, it's crazy. We just had our first run through a couple days ago, and we actually got through it. <laughs> yeah, it took like about it took about hours. five and a half hours, but, but you Hopefully know, it takes less it. than that on the thirty-first. <laughs> No, but like, you know, it's, it's been a learning process and I've never been a part of, you know, creating a, like a new Broadway show and these two guys have and I've been asking them questions like crazy. Like, ah! And they said that this is pretty close to it. I mean, we're creating something brand new and fresh and like Nessa said, it's a lot of hard work and we are, we're putting in the hours and I hope it pays off on January 31st. And so for you, Aaron, I mean, a Broadway vet over here, next to normal. I mean, you were fabulous in Les Mis on screen. Tell me about bringing uh, your Broadway background with your, you know, TV experience and doing Grease. Yeah, it's, it's been really interesting so far. Like Carlos was saying, I mean, we've had a full rehearsal process as if we were getting ready for a long run on Broadway, except the fact that we have this rehearsal process and then it's for one night. But, um, but no, it's, uh, it's been a very similar experience to kind of being in a rehearsal studio and finding out what this is and 
you know, kind of flushing out all this, all the different scenes and the characters, and then you know, we moved on stage at Warner's, and it became very much like tech, where we're standing in light and waiting for, in this instance, the cameras to figure out where they're going to pick us up. But but it's been a really, I, I've really been leaning on you know that kind of you know all, all that experience that I that I've had, and it's I think helped kind of keep me focused and you know hone in on what this needs to be. And Julianne, of course, you have dancing experience on Dancing with the Stars, that you were on the Move Live tour, you have a singing career. I mean, these people are just dynamite when I keep listing off your uh, accolades. But tell me about your experience. What's the most, uh, you know, thing you're most nervous about going wrong maybe on live show? Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, being nervous, I think, is kind of what we all love so much about the live aspect. It's it's that moment like right before you go on that you get those butterflies and that's what people like jump out of planes for. You know, that same adrenaline. I mean, I've done that too, but like literally it's it's so exciting that feeling of like it's not a nervous like I'm I'm petrified, I'm scared. It's like a nervous energy that just makes it that much better. I always say that um, you know, having a live audience is there's nothing better than that. Like you guys sitting here right now, like we could have this conversation in the dressing room and we're giving our 100% attention, but having you guys here, it's like this extra little oomph, you know? And so <laughs> um, it's the same thing with like a live performance and having that live audience aspect to it too and um, I think the quick changes are probably the the, the most daunting <laughs> I think you know, we do like the big dance um, hand jive and you know Danny dances with cha-cha and I'm heartbroken so I have to get on a golf cart and book it over to Sandy's house and then sing hopelessly devoted <laughs> I'm gonna be like <gasps> I can't breathe <laughs> but uh, but we uh, we practiced it the other day I had like maybe 10 seconds to spare so I think I'll be able to breathe <laughs> for those 10 seconds but um, but it's amazing I mean and it's Greece I mean Greece is so fun and I feel like it's just a part of our, our culture it's sort of like kids just know who Mickey Mouse is or Elvis Presley or Michael Jackson. Like, people just know Greece, you know? And, and I think that that's kind of the lightheartedness. We're obviously taking ourselves very seriously professionally, but we're not taking ourselves too seriously. We're having a good time and um, enjoying it. Uh, Aaron always says this, that, like, you can be on a project and then when you're done with it, look back on it and be like, that was really special. But it's interesting how, like, the first day... We all got together, we were like, whoa, this is, this is really special, and we're experiencing the specialness as it's happening. I know? think there's something, too, like what you were asking before about these being iconic characters and if we're nervous to play them or not. I mean, in a way, yes, like everyone has a familiarity with Greece, but I think that actually helps us, too, because it is such a thing that people know and love that they're going to come into it with a positive loving outlook. They're not going to be sitting back and trying to judge it. I just think that we have that going for us also that, you know, people are going to come to this and want to have a good time. And so hopefully that'll help what we're doing. Well, and what's super cool for me that I just always think about is that there's so many young kids out there who, who don't know what Greece is. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, like, I remember my first time watching Greece and I fell in love with it. Like, this is going to be their Greece. So like right there, there's a lot of pressure on us to, you know, make it great because, this is what they're going to go, oh, yeah, Kaniki, oh, yeah, Danny, Sandy, Rizzo. That's, that's kind of a, a, like, a, like a really special yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Um, Vanessa, what scene are you most excited um, to shoot? No. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> now you're like, do I know what scene yeah. I'm most excited? And I'm like, what is he doing? I don't know. I never I think he's know what he's about doing. The scene. Um, I think the hand jive is a very exciting number just because it's big, it's exciting. We've got um, Mario Lopez like hosting the dance. We have Joe Jonas's band who are going to be playing at the dance. Um, and the dance number is so epic. It's so much fun. It's exhausting. Yeah, we, have a, we, we have a huge ensemble and, uh, and there's these amazing ensemble dancers. And really this dance at the gym takes place like over two commercial breaks. Yeah. And it's, a, it's a whole thing. So it's really exciting and a lot of fun to do, and I think it's going to be super fun to watch. And so tell me about, uh, it is contemporary, but the costumes and the whole vibe and the era is still intact. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about, um, you know, putting on that leather jacket and being yeah, Danny yeah. Zuko. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, William Ivy Long is our costume designer, and he's, you know, done 
a million Broadway shows, and he's literally the best and most infectious person to be around in your life. But no, he's uh, he's put together, as you can see from the pictures. I mean, it's very, very period specific. And yeah, I mean, there's something about these clothes, too, I think, when you, I always think that whenever you're in a period, when you put the costume on, it kind of makes you carry yourself differently, and you can kind of feel the character immediately. I mean, I'm putting that leather jacket on the first time. Especially the like, jackets. Yeah. I mean, like, we got to pick out our jackets. They brought in a rack full of leather jackets, and they were like, which one is going to be your jacket? I was like, well, this is it. <laughs> Which one is it? And we're like, like literally, I felt like, um, you know, Cinderella, right, with the slipper? Yeah. I, like, I, I, I put it on, I was like... You look like Cinderella when you did you. it, too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I was like, this is it. This is great. I'm sure Julianne felt like Cinderella, too, squeezing into those black pants. <laughs> that, uh... I know, it's kind of cool. I get to feel like com two separate characters. I put on my good girl, Sandy, and I, I feel sweet and demure, and I've got this like kind of upright posture, and then the minute I go into bad Sandy, I'm like, Whoosh. yeah. Like, I just have like the whole like posture and attitude has just changed. It's amazing. The first time I put those tight little black pants on, too, so. <laughs> it's so much fun. The first time I put my wig on was at my fitting for this shoot. And um, I was kind of nervous because I was like, it's Rizzo. Like, I haven't read a script even. Like, yeah. I don't know how to tackle, tackle this character yet. And I put my wig on and I put my costumes on and I was like, oh, hey, Riz. That's so, that's so true. I forgot about that. When we did this photo shoot, we, none of us had even read the script yeah. yet. We hadn't gotten anything. So that's we cool. didn't even know each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that goes along with what we were talking about. I mean, co the way the costumes kind of inform everything. We put yeah. that on and everybody jumped right in. Everything I totally changes. forgot that. Yeah. 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 Tell me about the script as we're on this subject. I mean, uh, Greece has its moments, his little racy moments. Tell me about, um, you know, your version. Do you have any? Uh... Well, our version is very similar to the film um, as far as the script is concerned. But we do take elements for people that are familiar with the Broadway show. There are some numbers that aren't in the film that we feature in our show. Uh, Freddie, My Love, which is a song that Marty sings, is done in a really cool way. And also Magic Changes, which is a song from the stage version, is in our version. Um, but they've also done really subtle script work where some things that are implied a lot in the film are now actually on our page. And I don't know, I think that something that's really cool is like Sandy's transformation, you know, where people think, oh, she's changing from, for some guy. Like, I think it's much more clear that it's not necessarily about that. Yeah, it's more, I don't know, we're all kind of figuring out who we are, right, in high school and like where we belong and discovery. And I think that she's kind of already on that path and she just has maybe more guidance. I, th I think even for like Riz and Sandy's relationship, it's a little bit more um, fleshed out too, you see in our version. And um, you see that it's, it's Sandy's decision to make that change on her own, and I'm not just doing it for some guy named Danny Zuko. Um, but, uh, but, it, but so, I don't know, it's a little bit more of self-discovery, too, so, yeah. I mean, what's that like kind of playing high schoolers? I mean, Vanessa's really used to it. <laughs> Somehow I never age. <laughs> I was in high school many years ago, so. These are like, they, I always seem like they're grown up high schoolers, because well, when our, I look back on Greece, I'm like, there's well, no Our director, reason. Tommy Kale, who's, you know, has Hamilton right now, if you guys have ever heard of that, and In the Heights, and he's an amazing director, and he's kind of our, our leader in all of yeah. this, and something that he said a lot is about kind of the knowingness that we have um, in our generation, but then also being older, and trying to think back to high school when everything was your first time, everything was life and death, when you, the first time you fell in love, the first time you had your heart broken, I mean, you, you don't know what comes after it, so everything, the stakes are so high, so that's something that he's been yeah. reiterating to us, to try to you know, age us down a little bit to that, to that place. But also, we kind of are acting like we're in high school in rehearsal. <laughs> like, oh we're just gosh, yeah. being so goofy. And we're, we're in an environment where we can just be silly and play and have fun and be a little immature. And it's OK. <laughs> and we're having fun. Like, That's we're, Carlos we're, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun. I mean, we're literally like rolling around the floor when yeah. we're like slap happy after yeah. eight hours of work. And yeah. like, we're like, wait, are we really 17 right now? <laughs> I mean, you also have Carly Rae Jepsen and Kiki Palmer. Yes. And this is a, a, an awesome bunch. Tell me about working with them a little bit. Um, and they're bringing their pop 
you know, their pop attitude to the to the yeah, set. Yeah, I mean, I'm they're sure. amazing. If you want to know what happens like on set, just follow Kiki's Snapchat. Yeah, yeah she <laughs> basically she documents, documents the, the entire whole thing. process <laughs> all day, twenty four seven. No, uh, you may not have to watch on the thirty first. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, they're they're all so talented. Um, Carly Rae has a new song in the show that Ooh, that they original wrote, song, yeah. an original song, and original it, song by Tom Kitt. Yeah, if you guys know who Tom Kitt is. Um, um, and it's it's awesome. Like literally, like we sat there in rehearsal. We were like, hadn't heard it one time, and she goes up to sing her little song. We were like, oh my gosh, just like chills. Yeah. On this chills. is amazing. Yeah, on it's chills. like to me, I feel like it's gonna be really special just having that new song. And then right after that, Boys to Men comes in, and they're just like, what's up? We're gonna sing a song, and we just heard their version, by the way. Beauty School Dropout. It Holy is cow. crazy. Boys to Men. Yeah, guys. yeah. it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> so let's kind of go down the line. Tell me uh, your, what you're most excited to sing. What song? Uh... Uh, Summer Nights. You know, that's kind of our first, before our first commercial break. And, you know, we were in the, we recorded our album that's going to come out after the show airs. And we were recording the album the other day. And I was like, um, we're recording Summer Nights right now in Capitol Records. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm looking forward yeah. to. Very cool. How about you? I mean, kind of the same, because that's, I mean... First of all, the songs are still so relevant to today. I mean, it's like the guy's point of view versus the girl's point of view of what happens on their date. Like, it's so, <laughs> like, it's so true. <laughs> it's so different. Um, so that's really fun. Um, I mean, I'm excited to sing Hopelessly Devoted. Um, but I, I'm really excited for you guys to hear Beauty School Dropout, though. It's yeah. so epic. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to take one for the guys, and Grease Lightning, so I mean... It's so good. We're so proud of it. Like, they did not let us um, get lazy on this one. They were like, you're going to dance a lot, and you're going to sing a lot. And we are jumping up and down in this car. We got some really cool costume changes during the song, and it's just an epic number that I think yeah. people aren't going to expect it to be like, like that live. Um, it's my, one of my favorite things to watch. I yeah, thought. It's so good. My <laughs> wife saw it for the first time the other day, and she was like... Oh my gosh, she's like, you guys are like really good. I was like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Thanks. What's up? <laughs> um, I'm excited to sing Worst Things. It's just, it's such a good song. And I think that the scene that we've had written before between Rizzo and Sandy is just like the perfect setup. And, and just, she sounds great. It's, Seriously. It's fun to sing. Seriously. Yeah. Did you guys get a chance to sit down with any of the original? Cast members? Well, we have a couple in our production. I saw that. Dee yeah. Khan, right? And Barry yeah, Pearl. Yeah, Dee Khan, awesome. who played Frenchie, and Barry Pearl, who played Duty, are in our production. Dee Dee is playing Vi, who, if you're familiar with the script, she has the scene in the diner with Frenchie. So on the night, it's going to be Frenchie and Frenchie, which is kind of an That's awesome so thing. Cool. And then um, Barry plays uh, Mr. Weaver, who introduces Vince Fontaine. And actually, Vi and Mr. Weaver end up dancing together at the end. Oh. So it's like so meta, thing within a thing. Yeah. But uh, no, it's, it's really special. And you know, Barry was at our first read through and he was really emotional. And then when Didi came, she, she was, was really emotional. emotional. Yeah. So She's it's just, so I don't know, cute. it puts it in perspective at how they love much this there. means to people. They love being there. Like yeah. they show up and they're like there like 30 minutes early and ready to work. Cause like, Didi's, I mean, it's such a huge part of their life, you know? Didi's so cute, too. Like, she is Frenchy. Like, she still sounds the same. Like, I close my eyes, and I just see her from the movie, and she'll come over, and she'll be like, do you want a lolly? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, when you ask me like that, I have to. <laughs> yes. I know, the first day she brought bubble gum yeah, for yeah. everybody. Like, and just so much bubble, bubble, bubble gum. gum. <laughs> We're like, all right, great. She's like, it gets you in character. <laughs> yeah. So cute. So cute. And all those, like, diner scenes, I always think of Frenchy, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then the milkshake yep. throw and yep. all that. How apparently, is that to film? Cool? The diner scenes? Apparently she said that it, the milkshake never got on her. Like, she had to fake it every single time. Um, so but you we got, haven't you got actually... a job to do. You got to get that milkshake all over <laughs> yeah. her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right at Carly. Not even at him. Um, no, I mean, we, we haven't practiced the milkshake. I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. <laughs> it's all good. Sorry. It's but all that's good. Actually, that scene, actually, I think you're right. Like, that's such a fun scene, and, and it's every single, you know, principal character all together at once, and there's so many different dynamics going on and the different relationships, you know, the dynamic between Rizzo and Knicky, and then, you know, Danny's trying to play it cool in, all of his, in front of his friends, and, I mean, there's so much going on that that's probably one of our most difficult scenes, I think. Yeah. But I 
think it's going to be the most rewarding when it's, you know. I think it's the only one, yeah. well, besides the very end, that we're all together, too. Yeah. So there's just an energy to it that's really well, And fun. the sets, like. They're movie sets. Yeah, like, I don't think people stages. are ready for what the no. sets look like because we weren't. We showed yeah. up to Warner Brothers. We were like, wait, these are what we get to act in. Like, this is, I mean, they're, they're massive. It's crazy. Um, it's essentially they, like we're doing a live movie, which yeah. is the craziest thing you've ever heard. And I don't know why we're trying to do it, but we're going to try. <laughs> well, it's crazy, too, how you guys rehearse. There's all these sets, there's these costumes, and it's one night. And then I'm sure yeah. you guys might be a little sad when it's Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so depressed. Yeah, be she was just saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna let, I'm already starting to go through it. My heart already kind of hurts. I know, just because thinking just about that. My like, like days sunk. off, I actually cannot wait to come back to work and yeah. be with everyone because it's just, it's like everyone's so passionate about what we're doing. And our director, Tommy, has made it a point to hire very talented people, but also good people, people who are humble and like care about what they do and are just good people, you know? So it's like we've been able to create these amazing relationships in front of the camera, but as well as off of the camera that like, I'm, I'm going through it. <laughs> I'm already like, it hurts. it hurts. Well, I was even thinking too, when you were talking about Dee Dee and, and, um, and Barry, I mean, they shot that 1978, is that right? And they are still yeah. friends with all of the cast members. Dee Dee had me do a video, and she's like, I'm going to send it to Olivia right now. <laughs> and, like, you know, there, there is such a, a, a closeness, and they bonded so much in that. And I feel it's the same way here. And, um, yeah, they, 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 you guys special. are... Everybody has, like, maybe an experience on set where, oh, I loved it and we became family and stuff, but like, it's so true in this instance. You guys have my email. You can email me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm the, run, the run-throughs are probably nice too because you do get those run-throughs and get to sort of have that feeling of rehearsals, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, well, I want to open it up to the audience because there's tons of people here, so raise your hands. Yeah. I want to start with a question from an online viewer. So Fanny would like to know, what do each of you have in common with your characters? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you I are John Travolta. Aren't I you? generally have big hair in my life too, so <laughs> I'll go with that. For better or for worse. Um, I I actually feel a lot like Sandy. I moved back from um, London when I was going to school there, and I I went to high school, and I went to three different high schools, and I was always trying to figure out where I fit in and stuff like that. And I, I feel like there's a I always say I have like the halo over my head, but it's only held up by my devil horns. So I feel like I'm a mixture of um, bad Sandy and good Sandy. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Um, you know, Kaniki loves his car, and I gotta say, I love my car. You're obsessed with your car, dude. Kind of obsessed so with it. So that's the truest statement there so far. There you go. Um, I feel like in the beginning, I thought that I didn't relate to Rizzo. But the more that I've been walking in her shoes, the more that I realized I'm a lot like her. Um, I'm a very blunt and frank person. No. <laughs> what? No. Um, so if you take away my bubbliness and my niceties, that's like Rizzo. You know, if she doesn't like something, you're going to see it on her face. That's like me. So. <laughs> yep. All right. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, yeah. Uh, Carlos and Julianne, is it weird coming from Dancing with the Stars where you were originally someone who like judged the other constantly and now you're basically on the same playing field? Oh, I love being friends with her. It's uh. great. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, I didn't really ever get to talk to her. We there weren't was, allowed. It was very much separate. And then the first day she came and like, you know, I, I'm not sure what to expect. She runs over to me and gives me a hug and I'm like, oh. She's like, now we can be friends and talk. And I'm like, this is great. No, no, she's awesome, awesome. Aww, thank you, same thing. Like, uh, when I'm judging the show, they literally have us on opposite sides of the, the lot so that we can't, you know, talk to each other or whatever. But it was so hard for me really quickly to judge because I just want to text everybody and be like, okay, so when I said that, I didn't have very long to talk. So what I really meant is da-da-da-da-da and da-da-da. And you did so great. And then, you know, like... But I can't do that. So, yeah, it's true. When I saw Carlos, I ran up to him, gave him a big hug. I was like, yay, we can be friends now. I was like, is this allowed? This is so weird. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. So you guys all have experience with live shows prior, like whether like concerts, Broadway, and Dancing with the Stars. So are there any challenges, like, instead of, like, film stuff with um, live shows and everything? Like, anything you guys are afraid of or things that are great, whatever? I don't know, I think that 
the, the, the most interesting thing about something being live is that inadvertently something's going to go wrong, something's going to be different than we planned. There's going to be stuff that we haven't planned for, like when we make Carlos laugh the whole show. But, um, <laughs> but those are the moments I think that are really exciting and the things when, you know, the way that we react and the way that we deal with it on the night, it's going to create a moment and that's unexpected and that's when, like, some sparks will fly. So I am really excited about that. So, yeah. you know, you know stuff's going to go wrong, so just deal with it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hi guys, I have to say I'm so excited to see the show on January 31st. Um, so my question is for everyone, was there something unique that you did in the audition process that you think helped you land the role of your character? Good question. I, uh, I have no idea if this is the reason why I got it or not, but I just felt like in some of the other live event um, shows that we've seen, I just had a couple of things that I thought would make them, um, I don't know, f feel a little, because I do live on Dancing with the Stars and there's an audience, I remember going in to, to meet Tommy Kale, our director, and I said, I really feel like there should be a live audience and maybe we should have some like score underneath because it, you know, it feels this way when you're watching it on TV versus when you're in the room with somebody. And so, I mean, I don't think I got the job because of that, but I feel like we were totally on the same page and he had already thought of those things. And so we were kind of, yeah, we, we kind of had the same idea of what we thought Grease should be like, especially because it's fun and energetic and you, you need that kind of live aspect in the room with you to create that energy. So, I mean, I said that. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's hard for all of you to be like, I don't I'm, know. I'm so special. Yeah, That's all. <laughs> One thing that I did that I that I just makes myself happy with. There's a part in Sandy that you know that Danny sings where he like speaks, like which is kind of a weird thing. Sandy, to my do. darling. Yeah. And so I remember in, in, in the audition that I had in New York, and then also when I you know did it for my screen test for that part, I took it right down the lens, and that made them laugh. So I don't know. I keep telling them I'm gonna do it on the 31st, but they keep telling me do not do that on the 31st. <laughs> but I want to do it so bad. So we'll see what happens. Do it. They can't fire you. <laughs> they can't fire me then. <laughs> One night only. How about you guys? Anything unique that you did? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I originally went in and read for Danny and then um, ended up not getting it. And I was kind of like really bummed about it. And, and then like a couple weeks later, they called. And and Sorry, man. <laughs> hey. No, no, no. Like, but like, I'm but, feeling like, a little bitter. But like a couple weeks later, they called and they were like, hey, so we're thinking maybe Kaniki. And I was like, Okay, yeah, Kaniki, Kaniki, this would be good, this would be good. So then I like, like tried to, like, like to me, Kaniki, you know, he's, 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 he, like, he's cool, but like, Kaniki's cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Kaniki's tough, man, he's a tough, he's a tough dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so when I went in for that, I think I just played it a little, a little cooler, you know? You had a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> I had a little chip on my shoulder. It was a little bit bigger, yeah. So yeah, that's, that, that's kind of what I did. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I just went in there and did my best. Maybe because I had been working on my voice like every day for a while because I knew I was going to Broadway, that my voice was in really good shape. Maybe that got me the part. I don't know. Maybe like what you were saying higher. before, how you're kind of like Rizzo and you're just like, whatever, I don't even care. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, she's got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more question we have. Yep. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. Hi. <laughs> you guys seem so funny and goofy on Snapchat. So I was wondering, do you guys pull any pranks on set? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could can't tell you. Um, I tried the other day, and it did oh, yeah, not it work. Oh, yeah, it didn't work. No. What, what did you try to do? Well, there's a line where I go, oh. Tom is a great athlete. What have you ever done? And the guys were like, go up to him and be like, Tom's a great actor. What have you ever done? So I was like, Tom's a great actor. What have you ever done? And I couldn't get it out. I just started laughing. But, it also, but, it, but, you, but also, the, but the guys <laughs> ruined it, though, because when, there's a moment where I walk over to Sandy at the jukebox, and I literally look over at all the guys that are sitting at the table, and they're all literally like this. Like looking at us, I was like, what the hell are they doing? And then she starts laughing. I was like, yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> Plus, that, that statement is just so crazy that whatever. Oh God, I forgot about Tom, the, the guy who's yeah, Tom trying to get here. Oh, poor Tom. Poor poor Tom. Tom. Tom takes a beating in our show. Yeah. 
Guys, this is going to be great. I'm so excited. Um, I'm sad it's only going to be one night, but it will be on like DVD forever. So. Watch it forever and ever. And the album, yes. which, which yeah. by the way, I'm really excited about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The songs are just amazing. Yeah. And if you, if you don't buy it for us, buy it for Jesse J and Boys to Men. So. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Guys, Jesse J too? Jessie yeah. J. She's amazing. Amazing. It's yeah, awesome. I mean, like, she took Grease is the Word and she just, like, her own. Annihilated it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. she does all the time. Yeah. She's the best. Well, thank you guys for being here. We're thank so you. excited yeah. to see you guys are the best. on January 31st. Yeah. Do I know what's yeah. he <laughs> And I'm like, what is he doing? I don't know. I never I know he's what he's doing. The um, I think the hand jive is a very exciting number just because it's big, it's exciting. We've got uh, Mario Lopez like hosting the dance. We have Joe Jonas's band who are gonna be playing at the dance. Um, and the dance number is so epic. It's so much fun. It's exhausting. Yeah, we, have a, we, have, we have a huge ensemble and, uh, and there's these amazing ensemble dancers and really this dance at the gym takes place like over two commercial breaks. Yeah. And it's, a, it's a whole thing. Yeah. So it's really exciting and a lot of fun to do and I think it's gonna be super fun to watch. And so tell me about, uh, it is contemporary, but the costumes and the whole vibe and the era is still intact. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about, um, you know, putting on that leather jacket and being yeah, Danny yeah. Zuko. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, William Ivy Long is our costume designer, and he's, you know, done a million Broadway shows, and he's literally the best and most infectious person to be around in your life. But, no, he's, uh, he's put together, as you can see from the pictures. I mean, it's very, very period-specific. And, yeah, I mean, there's something about these clothes, too, I think, when you... I always think that whenever you're in a period, when you put the costume on, it kind of makes you carry yourself differently, and you can kind of feel the character immediately. I mean, I'm putting that leather jacket on the first time. Especially like, the jackets. Yeah. I mean, like, we got to pick out our jackets. They brought in a rack full of leather jackets, and they were like... Which one is gonna be your jacket? I was like, well, this is it. <laughs> Which one is it? And we're like, like literally, I felt like, um, you know, Cinderella, right, with the slipper. Yeah. I like, I, I, I put it on. I was like, you look like Cinderella when you Thank did you. it too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, this is it. This is. Great. I'm sure Julianne felt like Cinderella too, squeezing into those black pants. <laughs> that, uh... I know it's kind of cool. I get to feel like com two separate characters. I put on my good girl Sandy, and I I feel sweet and demure, and I've got this like kind of upright posture. And then the minute I go into bad Sandy, I'm like, Whoosh, yeah, like I just have like the whole like posture and attitude has just changed. It's amazing. The first time I put those tight little black pants on too. So <laughs> it's so much fun. The first time I put my wig on was uh, sort of a familiar territory though. Doing. I mean, High School Musical wasn't live, yeah. but Grease is. But you have, you guys all kind of have a background in singing and acting, theater, dancing. Um, so tell me what it was like to come back 10 years after High School Musical and, and get on with Grease Live. I feel like I was very luckily prepped to do this because last year I did my first Broadway production, which was so much fun. Um, but like, you learn what hard work is by doing Broadway. I think it's the toughest thing an actor can do. Um, so by doing that, I felt like I had what it took to be able to conquer this rehearsal process and be able to hit all the right things that we have to do while trying to develop these characters and just really doing something innovative with the camera work. And I mean, it's still all a work in progress and I'm excited to see what happens on January 31st, but we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. And how about you, Carlos? I mean, big time rush over here. You're used to live performances. You were just on Dancing with the Stars as well, so yeah, it's you've been, been a, having a great year. It's been yeah. a great a great year. No, this has been such a cool process, and working with these guys and the whole cast, like, everybody is so amazing, and what's cool is that no one's ever done what we're trying to do. Like, sure, there were two others, and they were great, but Fox was like, let's push it even further, you know, let's let's... Let's go above and beyond, and, and I think we're doing that. I mean, we're literally on the Warner Brothers lot, which is so epic to work on, and we have two sound stages. We have a back lot. We're shooting outdoors. We're shooting indoors. Our sets are four-walled. We have uh, audience members inside the sets with us. Like, it's crazy. We just had our first run-through a couple days ago, and we actually got through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took like about it took about hours. five and a half hours, but, <laughs> but you Hopefully know, it takes less it. than that on the thirty-first. <laughs> No, but like, you know, it's, it's been a learning process and I've never been a part of, you know, creating a, like a new Broadway show and these two guys have and I've been asking them questions like crazy, like, ah, and they said that this is pretty close to it. I mean, we're creating something brand new and fresh and like Nessa said, it's a lot of hard work and we are 
we're putting in the hours, and I hope it pays off on January 31st. And so for you, Aaron, I mean, abroad. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Look at all these fans. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, guys. Hi, you guys. Guys, this is a really big deal. I mean, you're bringing back Greece uh, yep. to life, to live. <laughs> uh, tell me how exciting this is. Let's start with you, Aaron. I think this is really exciting. I mean, uh, I've been a fan of the live musicals that they've done the last couple of years on television, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. And I think ours is a musical comedy, which is a little different than the other ones, and they're kind of telling it and shooting it in a very different way, and we're going to have some fun on the 31st, and hopefully you do too. So what's it like taking on an iconic role like Sandy and Danny? We have Rizzo, we have Kaniki here. We have the best of the best. I mean, it's a little daunting. I mean, those are some big shoes to fill. But, um, I mean, Olivia has been amazing. I got to meet her a couple months ago, and she kind of gave me her blessing, which was like a huge weight off of my shoulders <laughs> because all I want to do is make her proud, you know. But, um, but I don't know. I mean, they're such beloved characters that I feel like it's an honor, and I mean, my five-year-old self is like, this is a dream come true, and it's amazing. So, I, I mean, it's, it's a little daunting, but at the same time, we're making it our own and, and still respecting and honoring what they did at the beginning, so, yeah. What about you guys? Did you uh, freak out when you found out you got the roles, and were you so, so excited to take on these characters? Yeah, Grease is just the best. Like, it's just the best. It's so funny, though, because when I heard that they were doing this, um, my manager called me and was like, yeah, they're doing Grease. They're interested in you for Rizzo. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> not Sandy? Because I always saw myself as Sandy. Like, I was always the good girl in my mind. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, Rizzo is so amazing. This is going to be <laughs> so much fun. And the more that we've been doing it, the more that I'm like, this was the character I was born to play. I agree. <laughs> She's so good as Rizzo. It's just fun. It's fun to be the bad girl. <laughs> it must be different going from like a high school musical where you were the good girl. It's, it's so a... funny. Ten years later, I'm now doing know, exactly. the exact opposite character. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, so it must be way vet over here next to normal. I mean, you were fabulous in Les Mis on screen. Tell me about bringing uh, your Broadway background with your, you know, TV experience and doing Grease. Yeah, it's, it's been really interesting so far. Like Carlos was saying, I mean, we've had a full rehearsal process as if we were getting ready for a long run on Broadway, except the fact that we have this rehearsal process and then it's for one night. But, um, but no, it's, uh, it, it's been a very similar experience to kind of being in a rehearsal studio and finding out what this is and, you know, kind of flushing out all, this, all the different scenes and the characters. And then, you know, we moved on stage at Warner's and it became very much like tech where we're standing in light and waiting for, in this instance, the cameras to figure out where they're going to pick us up. But, but it's been a really, I, I've really been leaning on, you know, that kind of, you know, all, all that experience that, I, that I've had. And it's, I think, helped kind of keep me focused and, you know, hone in on what this needs to be. And Julianne, of course, you have dancing experience on Dancing with the Stars, that you were on the Move Live tour, you have a singing career. I mean, these people are just dynamite when I keep listing off your uh, accolades. But tell me about your experience. What's the most, uh, you know, thing you're most nervous about going wrong maybe on live show? Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, being nervous, I think, is kind of what we all love so much about the live aspect. It's it's that moment like right before you go on that you get those butterflies and that's what people like jump out of planes for. You know, that same adrenaline. I mean, I've done that too, but like literally it's it's so exciting that feeling of like it's not a nervous like I'm I'm petrified, I'm scared. It's like a nervous energy that just makes it that much better. I always say that um, you know, having a live audience is there's nothing better than that. Like you guys sitting here right now, like we could have this conversation in the dressing room and we're giving our 100% attention, but having you guys here, it's like this extra little oomph, you know? And so <laughs> um, it's the same thing with like a live performance and having that live audience aspect to it too and um i think the quick changes are probably the the, the most daunting <laughs> i think you know, we do like the big dance um hand jive and you know danny dances with cha-cha and i'm heartbroken so i have to get on a golf cart and book it over to sandy's house and then sing hopelessly devoted <laughs> i'm gonna be like <gasps> i can't breathe <laughs> but uh but we uh we practiced it the other day i had like maybe 10 seconds to spare so i think i'll be able to breathe <laughs> for those 10 seconds but um but it's amazing i mean and it's Greece. I mean, Greece is so fun and i feel like it's just a part of our our culture it's sort of like 
kids just know who Mickey Mouse is or Elvis Presley or Michael Jackson. Like, people just know Greece, you know? And, and I think that that's kind of the lightheartedness. We're obviously taking ourselves very seriously professionally, but we're not taking ourselves too seriously. We're having a good time and um, enjoying it. Uh, Aaron always says this, that, like, you can be on a project and then when you're done with it, look back on it and be like, that was really special. But it's interesting how, like, the first day... We all got together, we were like, whoa, this is, this is really special, and we're experiencing the specialness as it's happening. I know? think there's something, too, like what you were asking before about these being iconic characters and if we're nervous to play them or not. I mean, in a way, yes, like everyone has a familiarity with Greece, but I think that actually helps us, too, because it is such a thing that people know and love that they're going to come into it with a positive loving outlook. They're not going to be sitting back and trying to judge it. I just think that we have that going for us also that, you know, people are going to come to this and want to have a good time. And so hopefully that'll help what we're doing. Well, and what's super cool for me that I just always think about is that there's so many young kids out there who, who don't know what Greece is. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, like, I remember my first time watching Greece and I fell in love with it. Like, this is going to be their Greece. So like right there, there's a lot of pressure on us to, you know, make it great because, this is what they're going to go, oh, yeah, Kaniki, oh, yeah, Danny, Sandy, Rizzo. That's, that's kind of a, a, like, a, like a really special yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Um, Vanessa, what scene are you most excited um, to shoot? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> now you're like...